To complete the world's easiest oil change for the Ram ProMaster, you're of course going to need your oil. And based on my research, the best oil to use for the vehicle is the Ultra Platinum Full Synthetic from Pennzoil. And of course, 5W20. You're going to need an oil filter. In here, I have an oil filter cap. I bought this just to demonstrate on this video something that might really damage your engine if you're not careful. You'll see that in a few minutes. You'll need either a 24 millimeter or 15 16 inch low profile socket. This socket and this stubby little ratchet makes life a lot easier when doing this oil change. You'll also need this low cost oil extraction pump. I discovered that I was leaving about a half to three-fourths of a quart of oil, old dirty oil, in the engine when I was draining it from the drain plug. I saw that in a video and it got me to switch to the extraction method. I'll put that video in the description if you want to check it out. But not only that, this is a much easier way to change the oil when you're on the road. You don't have to crawl under the van and remove the drain plug. You can stand up, stay right in front of your vehicle, and get the whole thing done. And of course, you're going to need some containers to put the old oil in. And we use this windshield wiper fluid containers a lot. If you remember, we used these when we built our own composting toilet. If you haven't seen that video, that's an interesting one to check out. So let's go change some oil. Right here is the oil filter cover that you need to remove to replace the oil filter. If you take a standard 5 16 in socket, it's too high and when you put the wrench in here and you start to loosen it, it'll hit the air filter housing. So instead of doing that, what you need to get is either a 24 millimeter or 5 16 inch socket. Here I have the 5 16 inch socket because it's even lower profile and I can put that on there but if I use the large wrench I won't be able to turn it the handles too long it gets in the way so instead you get one of these little stubby wrenches that goes in there and not only do you have clearance now here you can turn the handle and you can easily get this filter off And it's that simple. I selected this Wix oil filter. And the important thing about this oil filter is that it is a cartridge filter. It should come with a new O-ring. Now the important thing I want to explain or tell you about that I've learned is it's important to remove this properly when you're doing your oil change. I purchased a new cap and it's a Dorman 917-190 in case you need one of these. The important thing about this cap is it has the oil pressure release built in. With normal can filters like this one here, that is built into the actual filter. So if this thing gets dirty and it blocks the flow of oil the flow of oil won't be blocked because if something happens to this it'll push past that pressure release that's built into this cap now normally with the standard oil filter that you would go under the vehicle for every time you change the filter you would be changing that well since it's built in here you're never changing it with this cap. 
Now the important thing to understand with this cartridge filter is this filter goes in, it'll snap in, listen. So it's held in there. When you remove it, you need to make sure that you remove it straight off and not pull it left or right. The reason for that is right in here, these little plastic pieces, if you pull it off at an angle, you may break that piece off and then that piece goes into the engine and it will end up in your oil pan or circulate in your engine. You also want to make sure that when, if this does break off, there's a spring in there and that spring will go flying off and you may never notice it. So that's the important thing that you have to think about. If all of a sudden you do your oil change and one of these little plastic pieces is missing, I would start looking for it and drain directly from the oil pan to see if you can find it. Or if the spring of this cap and the spring is missing, then you're going to need to replace this. I'll put a link to this in the description. Check for it at local auto parts places. It was much cheaper there than it was on Amazon. And this here is the part number. I'm going to keep this as a spare in the van in case along the line when I'm changing the oil on the road I need to replace it I'll have it available and once it's loose you can lift it straight out and I put that towel there because the oil filter may be still connected And then get another towel and be sure to pull it straight out. Next you want to replace the o-ring that's on the filter cap. Pay attention to where that o-ring is. You don't want the o-ring up in this top section here. You want it right down here all the way around. A lot of people will put this in the wrong spot and then they end up with an oil leak. I take that old one off lube up the new one with a little bit of this oil and then place the new one right back on You want to make sure you have it in the right spot. You don't want it You don't want it up here, which is very easy to put it up there by accident and not realize because over here it looks right, but it has to go in this large cutout section down here at the bottom and don't have it go all the way down I could see people putting it really close to this lip that's here that's exactly where it's supposed to be to be sure you don't have any oil leaks and take your new filter make sure those little plastic nibs are still there it will snap in you'll hear a click and then screw it back in. When you screw it back in, I would turn this counterclockwise first until you feel the click of the threads. You do not want to cross thread this. Hand tighten it. And then get your wrench. That little stubby again is, makes this so easy and tighten it up. You'll be able to feel when it's tight enough and if you reach down here you can with your fingernail tell that those two pieces of plastic are mated together. 
You don't want to over tighten this. If you over tighten it, it will end up stripping or if it's not lined up with the threads properly, it'll strip and then you'll have an expensive repair because you'll have to replace that and the oil cooler that's behind there and the labor cost. Well, you don't want to do that.